Hello students, welcome to our today's math class. We are in chapter 6 and uh, that is fraction. So from today, we will start fraction. Okay, in our grade 3 level also, we have uh, learned about fraction. So in our grade 4, uh, also we have chapter fractions. Okay, uh, what is fraction? Do you know what is fraction? Okay, first of all, uh, we need to know what is fraction. So let me list out what we are going to learn today. Today we will learn about fractions. Okay, what is fractions? We will learn the definition. Okay, what is fractions? one the next we will learn about like fraction and unlike fraction okay and unlike fractions Then we will aid like fractions by showing in diagram. Addition of like fractions in diagram. In chapter fractions in our today's class we will learn what is what is fraction what is a fraction okay <coughs> what is a fraction and then about like fractions and unlike fractions then we will a like fractions showing in diagram okay so first of all what is a fraction what is a fraction okay fraction is a part taken from a whole number okay or we can say fraction is a part of whole number fraction uh, we have two terms in fraction that is upper term and lower term two terms are separate separated by a line okay upper term is called numerator and the lower term is called denominator okay let me write very easy definition here first of all okay a fraction is a part of whole number. Number or object, part of a whole number or object, any uh, we can say, okay? We have two terms in two terms or two numbers in fractions okay <coughs> there are two numbers or you can say term okay or terms in a fraction okay terms upper term and lower term okay upper term upper terms upper term is called
It's called the numerator. Upper term is called the numerator and lower term is called the denominator. And lower term is called <coughs> the denominator. See, fraction is separated by a line, okay. As I have written here, fraction, there are two numbers, okay, two numbers, for example, for example, two by six. You can see here, upper term, two, lower term, six, two number, two and six, and it is separated by a line. Okay, this is the fraction, two out of six. 2 out of 6. Understood? 2 is numerator here, 6 is denominator here. Some more example here, 3 by 10, 3 out of 10. 3 part is taken from the whole number 10. Okay? Again, some more example here, 6 by 12 also you can write so many okay you can write so many fractions as a, to give example here so you are very clear with the term numerator and denominator upper term is called numerator lower term is called denominator now let's learn about the like fractions and unlike fraction first of all like fraction like fractions like fractions <coughs> what types of fractions are, are called like fractions as we know that we have two terms in fractions that is upper term and lower term numerator and denominator isn't it okay the fractions those fractions whose denominator are same are called like fractions did you notice okay those fractions whose denominator are same not numerator okay i'm not saying numerator those fraction fractions whose denominator are same are called like fraction okay those fractions <coughs> whose denominator are same are like fractions as it is said that denominators are same you can write any uh, numerator any but the denominator must be same for example 1 by 1 by okay, wait let me drop this one by six when we make like fractions now you we have to be clear that the denominator must be same the denominator must be same two by six denominator must be same four by six five by six so these are the like fraction why they are like fraction because their denominator are same understood so let us learn about the unlike fraction now unlike
on like fractions opposite of like fractions on like fractions that means in like fraction uh, uh, the denominator of fraction are same but in unlike fractions denominator of fractions are different okay very easy those fractions <coughs> whose denominator are different whose denominators are different Uh, different are unlike fraction okay are unlike fractions are unlike fractions so can we write example okay sure if we can write example opposite of like fractions unlike fractions isn't it for example For example, you can see here 1 by 6, okay, 1 by 6, then 2 by, if you write 2 by 6, then it will be, if you write 2 by 6, then it will be uh, like fractions. So 2 by, you can write any, any okay, 2 by 5, uh, 4 by, 4 by 9, 5 by 15, any. Okay, see, you might have noticed here, denominator are different. Denominator are different. So, these fractions are unlike fractions. Is it clear? Okay, what we have learned up to this time? First of all, we learned about a fraction. What is a fraction? Fraction uh, is a part of whole number. There are two numbers in fractions. Uh, number or terms, okay. Upper terms. It's called numerator and lower term is called denominator and now like fractions like fractions whose denominator are same and uh, unlike fractions whose denominator are different now we will add like fraction okay we will add like fractions by showing in diagram okay addition like fractions showing in in diagram okay <coughs> suppose we have to so uh, so in diagram Okay, so in diagram, uh, suppose we have to add like fraction 2 by 8 and 3 by 8. Okay, 2 by 8, 2 by 8 and 3 by 8. These are the like fraction. Why these are the like fraction? Because their denominator are same. That is why these are the like fraction. So we have to show in diagram. Let's show. Here, 8, denominator 8 means eight parts makes whole number eight parts make whole number okay here <coughs> okay one part two part three part four part remember that each part must be equal okay it must be divided into equal it must be divided e equally you have to be careful for that <coughs> one two three four <coughs> five six <coughs> seven eight 
seven, eight. Please use a scale to draw this type of diagram, okay? Use pencil and uh, scale here. So you, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight part, okay? Eight part here. Because denominator we have, in denominator we have eight. Now we have to add two and three. We have to add numerator, okay? Let's show. Here, the first fraction is two by eight, isn't it? Two by eight. Two by eight. Let's show this in fraction, two by eight, okay? You just color it. Two by eight. Okay, just color it, okay? Two by eight. We have colored one part, that is another is two part. When we color this box, it will be two part, okay? Okay, the, we have shown the first uh, fraction that is 2 by 8. Now next is 3 by 8. 3 by 8, we have to take 3 out of 8, 2 out of 8, now 3 out of 8. One. You just fill this box, okay, when you sew in your uh in your notebook you have to uh, fill the color all over here okay see two by two by eight three by eight this is how we show in the diagram if we uh, aid uh, without showing in diagram then how what it will be let me show you here without diagram okay if you add then you will add only numerator only that is two and three two and three it is five five by eight here also you might have noticed here one two three four five five out of one two three four five six seven eight isn't it this is how we saw uh in diagram okay so uh now you can add more like fractions okay you can show uh, in diagram also okay so for today's class only this much uh, bye bye all of you